when you look in the mirror and you and you, you look at yourself and you, you, you say, who the fuck are you? Because you don't recognize you anymore. Right. right. Sometimes you just want to go to sleep. Welcome to All Day 1102 Entertainment. And welcome to the Pod Family, guys. This is where we are <laughs> humble, transparent, and very free-like. And, um, yeah, we got some topics today. Huh. Good. I will first start off just to say some funny shit because it's trending right now. Do we know about vabbing? Okay. Yes, I'm starting there. Hold on, Keyshawn. We ain't, we ain't even <laughs> we ain't introduced. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, my man just Don't give him that no more. Don't give him that no more. I'm sorry. Don't give him that no more. All right, let me take over. Uh, this is why we're not <laughs> you guys, we have two new guests. Um, as we do, uh, we always introduce ourselves. We go around. I'm your host, Day Day. Nathan Forbes. Hello. Lojada. Kishan. And before we uh, go further, we do like to give this time to promote people. If there's something that you do, you know, we like to promote and give y'all the platform to kind of say what y'all do or whatever. You say you do acting, so you can talk a little bit about that if you like. Um, so I'm going to uh, Carteret. Right? Well, I just graduated from Carteret uh, three weeks ago. Woo-hoo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, right now I'm on the road to go to UNCW to hopefully, um, well, you know, get my career in acting. Right. I did the military for about two and a half <laughs> years, and um, now I'm here. Facts. So directors, if you're out there, hey, if I need an actor for a short film, any film, that's the guy. So, anything that you kind of do is special or? Nah. nah. Special. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Keyshawn, the floor is yours, brother. I'm so sorry, yeah. yeah. (laughs) I'm fucking horrible. All right. This is why I said don't slap me. (laughs) So, um, it's trending right now on TikTok. There's this thing called vabbing. Okay? Do you know what vabbing is? I do not. For the people who do not understand and know what vabbing is, it's when a woman gets her fluids and uses it as perfume Ooh. for the male counterpart. Would you ever bath? No, I don't think so. No? Yeah, you're not saying I stink or anything. No. Let me ask that, so I'm valid. <laughs> would you, would you vab low? No. Next. No. No, I wouldn't vow. No, I don't no, have see, see, <laughs> I'm on that type of time, but I'm not on that time. Got you, got you. Go ahead, mom. You understand? Got you. Would you, let's just say the girl hit the two fingers and hit you with the mm. that beautiful temptations move, you feel me? Oh, and you went to kiss her on her neck, and you smelled that bad, bro. What would you do? Like, is it fish, lobster type smell? Like, what is <laughs> Whatever the vibe is to you, bro. All right, so I smell the vibe. All right. Either way, no matter what, there's no such thing as non smelling vagina. It smells like something. I mean, so, at that wrong? point, it's kind of too late, you know? Like, I already kissed oh. her. I'm, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, I already kissed her. Like, and, and to be honest, fluids, you always, if you're eating out a girl, you're, you're already, so it's not really much difference to me. So. But it's stale, Val, bro. It's been there. I mean, sex is nasty, to be honest. Well, you're a nasty nigga. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I see how you coming. Oh, you, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, you want to ask me? Did it? What would you do? I ain't starting that shit. You ain't starting that shit? You would know beforehand? Mm-hmm. Before you even kiss? Yeah, probably. If not, I mean, like you say, shit. I mean, it's too late, but I ain't starting that. <laughs> I'm Would you tell her to kindly go wipe it off? Yes. Yeah. Facts. That's just stupid, though, to me, really. Yeah. I I think on a scientific purpose, <clears throat> that, like, if we're being serious, women have pheromones, you know, or have this cer- certain type of hormone that they come off with. Just like when a woman's on her, her menstrual cycle, she seems to be like she's glowing a little bit, even though she's not, because some women just look pale and dead as fuck. But... It's supposed to help them glow when they're ovulating. Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to say when they're ovulating. So mm. it's just this, just a thing. I, I don't fucking know. 
So you're saying when, when they ovulate and the fluid's going through all that motion? Or no, just no. When a woman when a woman is ovulating, it's just kind of like when a dog's in heat. A male dog knows, yeah. smells the hormones, oh, okay, smells I get the pheromones yeah, that's yeah, in the yeah, air yeah. from the dog being in heat. So therefore, he wants to mate. I got you. So they have pheromones that you can buy online that you can spray it. I literally have it in my fucking car list. Um, I do. <laughs> All right. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I <legit> <laughs> 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 And you spray it, and it goes with your chemistry. Okay. And it lets off its own unique smell. So what's the guy babbing? Just rubbing pee on our face to protect we the acne? Never do any <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I want to know. Fluids. Rubbing pee on, on our face? In my face? They say it works. Huh? Rub pee on your face for acne. And sperm or too. Acne. Yeah. Sperm too. That's what they say. Well, no, take that and put the, they put I ain't heard this. You heard the sperm? sperm? I ain't heard that one. Sperm yeah, they say pee. Face, they say pee, uh, clean your face. And it's drinkable. I wouldn't know, but I'm just. <laughs> 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 That's that all the shit. <laughs> I just saw that on a, a, a Discovery Channel, but that's a whole different. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> Want to go off on another topic that you Wait, got? Hold on, what about you? Yeah. Hold on. Huh? Yeah. You, sir. <laughs> no, 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 you feel me? Like, taste that, that, yeah. that's all you like. That. You feel me? So, like, if she did that literally right in front of me, just like went in there and like right, right here, oh yeah, I'm gonna lick that. I'm gonna lick that. But why did she tell you that? But if that's stale <laughs> pussy, if that's nah, hell no. Nah. nah. I'm good. Why did she don't tell you till after the fact? I'm gonna know. Because all pussy have a smell. And if it's your pussy, you know that smell. But it might be like a quick kiss. You, nah, you in the moment. Everybody you know. knows the jingling of their parents' keys when they first walk in the motherfucking door. You know what parent it is. Mm. Am I, tell me I'm not making sense. <sighs> no, you're making perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to go ahead and hit on that, uh, the famous uh, baby mama thing, baby dad? If Yo. So, the scenario is the woman, she had a baby daddy, but she has three kids. Two by one. No, well, sorry. It didn't specify that. Yeah. But it seemed like she had three different baby fathers. Okay? When man brought his son some food, he only brought it for his one son and not the rest of the children. Shorty was mad hot about that. Heard, I heard this video is fake now, but mm -hmm. either damn way... Um, Am I editing this? Hmm? Am I editing uh, this? It don't matter. Me or you. Like right here next to the <coughs> um, I'll drop that there. <laughs> Y'all heard about it, right? Y'all seen yeah, it? Yeah, that yeah, went viral and shit? Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about that? If you were to have three children, three different baby daddies, and the one baby daddy only brings just just enough food for the, for, for the one, <coughs> how would you feel? Well, I'm gonna speak from I don't have any kids now, mm -hmm. so uh, if you I'm a, you know that I give respect to the parents. But me personally, if that happened, I would not be offended. Now, if you do do it, okay, you a real man, you know, props to you. But if okay. you don't, I mean, what's the harm? Do you feel it's like it's your either. responsibility to take care of the mother kids? Well, I'm the mother, so they ought to be fed anyway. Let's the go. The question is, fat. why is the dad <laughs> having to bring his child food? <laughs> Okay, I don't have no kids, so mm. let me just keep that to me. But mm. that's the real question. Everybody asking the wrong questions here mm. for me. Mm. Because if you're a parent, there's no reason <coughs> why your kids out here eating bullshit. But that's just me. Right. Feed your kids. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some tea on that. I'm done. And I got some stuff that I'm going to add on, but I want to get everybody else to answer first. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Low. Oh. 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 I'm eating. Nah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> She's eating. <laughs> Go ahead. So should he have to bring food to all the other kids or just his kid? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't care if he brings it 
to just one kid. Like she said, I'm the mom, but I've been in that situation, so my kids always eat no matter what. But your food stamps don't come in until like the 14th and you know this. Mm -hmm. So they still eat. Make it do Nate. Nate. When the check is, you make it do. Nathan. Right. Nathan. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not my responsibility. You had three different baby dads, <coughs> so that's like three different incomes, right? If you're doing mm -hmm. a child support, so and food, and food stamps. So my thing is, what were you doing with that money that you had beforehand? Mm -hmm. Did you just start buying random shit and then oh, that my my payment didn't come through? Like you can no, that's not how it works. It's not. Not my responsibility. My child, I'll take care of my child. Right. The one that I gave you. Or we built together. But I'm not going to pay for somebody else's child. Now, like you said, maybe one day I'm feeling generous. I might go out and buy everybody something. But not my responsibility. Facts. Me, at first I had sympathy at first a little bit. But now, fuck them kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Fuck them kids. Bing bong. Look, man. <laughs> 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 Look, he don't have he don't owe them. Now this is my thing. If they were like together, like if they're together, then yeah, he should. I mean, that's that's kind of no brainer. I mean, you should you not you shouldn't just bring one to one kid, feed every kid. If if y'all together, if y'all not together, he's just a baby dad. He just need to take care of just his kid. It, those other kids are not his responsibility, so he shouldn't have to worry about other kids. She need to call their dads and have them. She need to call them the same way she called him and have them do it. Yeah. But my thing is, for one, if y'all really watch the video too, like you said, it might be fake or whatever, so they say now. But she said two different dates if you really pay attention with the food stamps. She said the seventh the first time, I think, and then the eleventh the next time, if I'm not mistaken. We'll and if you watch the whole video at the end, she threw, that shit. she threw his fucking food that he got for the one kid. So now that one kid gonna starve? Or you're just gonna cook like you should have done from the very beginning? So that's that just made me really skeptical. You threw the food down that he did get. So now that one kid he brought it for is he just gonna starve or you gonna cook like you should have done in the fucking beginning? That's facts. That's facts. But fuck them kids. I'm worrying about my kid only. I'm sorry. That would be the title to this video. Fuck <coughs> <coughs> them kids. Might add something in. Of course. Of course. I really feel like situations like this come up because of situations. <coughs> oh, so this baby daddy does good. He does for his child. When this baby daddy don't, he non existence. He's nowhere. So because this guy's a good man, we got to put all the responsibility on this good baby daddy, even though he has right. one child. And this happens so much and it's so common. And then the women that this happens, you know, that this they have these situations, they so blessed, right. they take advantage of it. Right. If he don't do it, oh he wrong. He wrong, yeah. No, you got one child. That's you know the thing. Saying? Like nobody's talking about the good that he's done. It's like he getting bashed for bringing, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you getting bashed for doing for your kid? He laid down, made one child, not three. Yeah. That's your problem. That's, that's real. But here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, I've been in this situation up teen times, you know, brought my son something to eat, whatever, cool. There was a time that I actually didn't know the other kids were there. Mm -hmm. I personally feel it's not my responsibility, but I also know kids are mean. They're mean as fuck. And they're honest about how they feel i can't see other kids hungry fast yeah. i feel that that same meal that it costs to go to mcdonald's could have been the same the exact money that it costs to go to little caesar's to get a to get a large one that's what i was me. saying too like me because i'm a real guy like i would have if i knew you know and i knew my kid was there or whatever i would have brought a fucking pizza so i would have went to walmart and got one of the big ass oven pizzas y'all Cut that shit up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That can it's depend on the age. It ain't delivery, bitch. But I delivered it. <laughs> yeah, straight. <laughs> and it depends on my man financial too. Like my thing is, it depends on his financial. Like you don't know what his financial situation is. He maybe but can just afford. But let's four be years. honest here. Okay, if we're being complete, <coughs> and, I, and I'm I'm arguing with you on purpose for the sin, for the sake of this shit. Mm -hmm. No matter what. If he's not that blessed of a guy, if he's not that good on money, why is he buying his child McDonald's when he could have cooked too? That's true. Or, or, hey, um, Denise, whatever your name is, let me um, 
Let me get little man. We gonna go ride real quick and then go feed your own child. It's just you and him, and then take him back. That's a fact. Like he did try to get the kid. I mean, it's a little difference from what you're saying. Like yeah. him actually getting his kid and taking him to go get something to eat. But when he was there, he tried to get his son to come downstairs because she was complaining like he's not going to eat in front of the other kids. He was trying to get the kid to go to his car, but she wouldn't allow that. If y'all seen that part, yeah. So it, she it wouldn't even let him like do that. She had a lot of issues within <clears throat> herself, and she she had things going on when it comes to the other baby daddies, and there there was some resentment there. There was yeah. there was some real live resentment there. But don't bash the good dad, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, the good one. Was... You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Let's bring it a little happy and inside of each other for a little bit. Um, what makes you feel supported? Supported. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, one, I guess for everybody, is the somebody's presence. I gotta know you're always there. I mean, I guess people have controversy today about, oh, I don't hear from you two months, three months. We still cool. Yeah, we still cool, but I, I need presence. That's one. I got to feel the love. I got to know what well, anything I can call you with, it's going to get handled. Same thing for me, vice versa. Yeah. Okay. Respect. Love. What makes you feel the love? Um... <coughs> Encouragement, presence. Words of affirmation, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Words of affirmation. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what you, you the thing we words? did. The thing we did. The uh, what was that thing called? Oh, I'm slow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a slow moment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> words of affirmation. Someone constantly I did that. talking into you and bringing yeah. it to you. Actually, yeah, I did that, and it was... Yeah, you had it. Top three? Well, top three? I only did one. Yep. It gives five. It's five. Oh. Ooh. So you got... <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. Look. <laughs> Let me skip her. I think I have the results. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that. All right. <laughs> what makes you feel supported, Nathan? Um, I say my family, uh, friends, meeting new people. Uh, for some reason, um, getting everybody's experience, like, because the more you get to know people, they teach you a lot through their lives. And they teach you how to survive certain things and things you haven't been prepared for. So, like, going to people I know have been through a lot of struggles helped me get through life. And obviously, God, I look out for God, and he looks out for me, so, mm. yeah. Me, I'll say, uh, shoot, like, showing up for me when I least suspect it. Um, like you say, family. Uh, words of affirmation. Like, I really like words, like you telling me you like what I'm doing, because I hear it all the time, sometimes when I'm DJing, like, podcasting, like, I see you, mm. things like that. So, like, words is definitely encouraging. Um, and yeah, like times when I just least suspect it. So I'm the type of person that sounds real demasculating, but I really like hugs. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing wrong. Ain't no wrong with it, man. It's not demasculating at all. Like, that's the problem, though. I, I, feel, I feel that's what I feel supported the most is like like a good a good handshake. From a man telling me I did a good job with something, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or from a female a hug, thank you so much for this, like right, that, right. that gratification of um, physical touch does it for me. Right. Yeah. I found it. You found it. <laughs> do you know your love languages, Lajeda? I don't. All right, so you got some homework to do when you go home. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. I don't know what these things mean though. May I see? Yeah, I know it says quality time. You're crazy. I know mine's is touch. Like, I like to. Quality time, oh, yeah. words of affirmation is her second. <coughs> Physical touch is your third. Acts of service is your fourth. And gifts. Meaning you don't really like gifts a lot, but you love just probably okay, sitting with Daquan and just laying down and watching your favorite show. I see? Oh, you see how kingy that ass. <laughs> you see how that he said, don't say right that. <laughs> Y'all ain't see what the fuck I just seen.
You really didn't. Did you see the way she... She perked the fuck up. Hey, yo, Dede, you keep doing your thing, man. You keep making that girl happy. I'm so proud of y'all. I love y'all's love. Y'all keep thriving. That's what I call keeping somebody's love tank on full. Stay safe. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah. And when, and when he says, I appreciate you or I love you, or just that little hug yeah. <laughs> that just does it for you. Boom. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's what that means. I'm not going to throw it at you. Question. What's oh, yeah. Not so... Touch not being your love language. Do you feel like that is a problem, or being that's not a top? No, love touch is little. Okay, so that's in a hundred percent scale, right? Mm -hmm. So you've seen like thirty. Was this? So I know, but I'm that. saying, like, do you think it's a problem? Someone lacks wanting that, like, <coughs> in See, a relationship. No. I'm okay. But you gotta understand that that is what makes me, that's the language I speak, as well as I need to receive. If I see effort there, then I have no problem with you being you, and not really a touchy-feely person. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I'm, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that, and I, I feel like if the other person knows that, then both will be very understanding on how each other speaks and also on the other side that i'll make sure to speak whatever language that is for you and if physical touch isn't that and let's say it's gifts then i'm gonna buy you a gift i'm probably gonna once a month buy you flowers mm -hmm. randomly yeah. so yeah that's the best way to put it that's cute yeah <laughs> <laughs> I got one question I want to hit on. What you got? I feel like we all maybe have been through this. Um, why do y'all feel like in relationships we stay in it longer than we're really supposed to? Oh, that's a deep layer. Seasons. Because I know there's been times where I kind of knew like I should have been left out of this relationship mm -hmm. and I still stayed in it knowing like she's not the one for me. So my question is to y'all, why do y'all feel like we stay in those relationships longer than we should? I'll let somebody go before. I'll go, I'll go. <coughs> so what I, what I learned over the years, and I've seen a lot of people do it, we get caught into this, uh, we don't want to, we don't want to be uh, left alone. Mm. We don't want to be alone by ourselves because we know how it is, we know how it feels. You get comfortable, mm. no matter if it's toxic, Place it's it. healthy, you get comfortable in that situation. And to have that leave you means you are missing something. You need to fill mm -hmm. that void, and you don't want to keep feeling that void. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people, like, they say soul ties. You give <clears> yourself <throat> to that person so much that it just, without them, you don't feel like you. So when you leave, it just it just makes no sense. Damn you, nigga. Yes. He, he hit that on the ball. He said it all. <laughs> 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 Nobody else needs to yeah. talk. To add on to that, he, he hit on the ball. Um, like for me, I say, you, you're you so complacent and like you're not ready for a change. Like me in the past, just so complacent. Um, you're not ready for, you, you're just not ready for something new yeah. and to start over. Yeah. Um, yeah, he ain't shit. He hit on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you adapt with that person. You know what I'm saying? If you wake up <coughs> 6, 7, 29 years with that person every day, mm -hmm. and then you wake up one day and that's like, it's just out of routine. <coughs> like, I want to change. That junk kills me. I got anxiety. Change. You know what I'm right. saying? So it may be you are not the person for me. But it's just the fact of being that this is something new. Oh, man, I can't do this. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. So I'll sit before I'll act. You know what I'm saying? And then some people got abandonment issues, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't want to feel like they fell in that person. That's either. real. So some people would just stay to the very end and get left every time just because, hey, I'm loyal. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So yeah. the internet got a lot to do with that stuff, too. Mm -hmm. It's shaping the way people think a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. No, that's think, good. I like that. Yeah. I think comfort, <clears throat> comfort keeps us. Mm -hmm. Comfort, that routine. It may not be the best routine, even if it, even if it's fucking toxic. You know what's coming. There's no change. Mm -hmm. And good morning, fuck you. 
<laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> That's we got each other. Yeah, we got each other. We woke up today. You didn't die. I didn't die. We're nobody gets the money yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stay tomorrow. I, 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 yeah, right, right. We'll try this again the next day. Right. So I feel like, regardless or not, having that person. Like, I know my worst thing, back to the physical touch shit, and this may sound, this may be fucking TMI for YouTube, but, like, I sleep naked, and whoever the fuck I'm with sleeps naked, usually. Having my butt on your butt. You <laughs> <laughs> about to hit the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> I see your butt on my butt. <laughs> Hey, you cut, hear me? Cut. You hear me, bitch? <laughs> this real one. Oh, your butt on my butt, man. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no. like, <laughs> I'm weak. Damn, ass she's sticking together. Yeah. <laughs> so you like, you like butt on butt? <laughs> Somebody got swamp ass. Right. I, I thought you was agreeing with him. Like, no, I thought you was agreeing. Oh shit! Again. No, yeah, you little wild man, bro. I don't care. Sleeps the same other way. My ass cheeks touch your head. Oh shit! What's like <laughs> <What's laughs> my fart? You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm weak. Oh, we. I thought she was with you, bro. No, no I'm, I'm being, I'm being nah, dramatic we, nah, about the situation, but yeah. like that, that <clears> touch, whether it be that yeah. hand or fuck, your hair's in my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, like, saying, I, yeah. I miss that. Mm -hmm. So the small things. Yeah, and you yeah. would think that you wouldn't give a fuck about these things until you're in your bed by yourself. Yeah, right. and you got to fix the bed, the fucking pillow some type of way because they're not there. That shit hit you hard, don't it? Yeah. When you, if I, I ain't speaking for everybody, but boy, you go through a breakup. Like if y'all ever have somebody living with y'all, mm -hmm. and then when you by your damn self. You ain't, we ain't waking up to nobody next to you. What Trey Song say? Can't eat, can't sleep. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, that shit hit you hard. I'm, like you say, small things like little shit like her having a TV on, you telling her to like turn the shit down or yeah, change yeah, the channel, like real. shit like that. It's like you controlling the TV now and you used to yeah. telling her to change it or some shit. Man, why yeah. you like turn the TV off? For real. Turn the TV off. Yo, that shit hit, uh, that shit hit hard, bro. Another one is like human bondage. Mm -hmm. um, like there was a yeah man. I, Indeed, man. <laughs> <laughs> human crib. Like my dad, cause my dad's seventy seven, so he was like the first supper with Jesus and shit. So he bit. <laughs> 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 so let me stop, God. Dad, I love you. But um, <laughs> but nah. Um, so he showed me this movie. It was a really really old movie. Mm -hmm. Like it has black and oh, it wasn't black and white. It was really old. And this guy, I think he was working at a bar or a strip club, I don't know, very old thing. And um, he never fell in love, never knew what love was. And then uh, this prostitute kind of used them, played with his emotions, and then slept with him. And um, even if she left him, no matter what, he would always keep going back to her. No matter how bad she treated him, she'd tell him, you know, she, she hit him, beat him, all these hurtful things to this man, he would not leave her alone. And so he became so infatuated, and then she ended up having, I think, an STD and died, and had a kid. Mm. He took care of that kid. What movie is this? Human Bondage. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's, some, it's probably inspired. <laughs> well, it's Forrest Gump probably inspired by that. Yeah. But um, yeah, so what happened was, um, what I think is, a lot of us, like me personally, I didn't really know how to receive love. I knew how to give it, mm. but I didn't know what it was to receive and how it should be received. So we get into the cycle of, well, I'm gonna give my all to this one person and hopefully I get that back. And when it doesn't, you're like, oh, well, I'm still gonna try. I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna keep going in for them. I'm gonna keep, you know, no matter how bad it gets, we're gonna stay in this together. But you, then you start realizing you're losing yourself, your morals, everything about you is becoming this person, what they want you to be. All right. And now when they leave you, you're really destroyed because you don't know who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. And you don't know how to love. Now you're hurting somebody else because of the hurt that you felt. Right. Another thing too with us guys, um, like most of us don't cook a lot. I would say, um, I mean, well, I, I do, but when that female leave, 
and you realize you got a damn Tough. go to you just buying fast food. Tough. That's a big change too. <laughs> That's tall. You ain't getting no so cooked meals. <laughs> Yo. For real. For real. You waking up, you can't you ain't get no more breakfast, no more lunch. Your ass gotta go. Done lost 15 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Nothing cooking. Your ass better go buy you something to eat. So you realize that fast too though. You gotta ask, did I eat today? <laughs> For real. Yep. What you got next, bro? Um <coughs> Is there anything relationship wise that you wanted to touch on real quick in your notes? Mm. Before I before I dump dive this shit. Dump dive what? Let's see, I think I do got a little more. Yeah, uh, keep it on the <coughs> yeah, I'm Well let me see what you're gonna dump dive. Let me be prepared. <laughs> oh god. Mine are definitely like I'm excited. Ooh, I got a good one. <laughs> All right. Said, well, I yeah, I got a good one. All right. So, do anybody lie for their homeboys or homegirls for a relationship to protect them? And why? No. It, even if they're in the wrong, y'all know they're wrong, but do y'all lie for them? Like they're cheating or some shit and y'all just had a back. I feel like that's really some girl code shit. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Fellas do that shit too. But I want to know if anybody in here lie for their homegirl or homeboy to protect them from their significant other. <laughs> and be, be real. I'm going to be real. Wait, I'm going to be hella real. <laughs> I believe you'll, you'll catch it. Hold on. Okay. First of all, nigga, don't put me in your lie. Thank you. Because mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, if I'm cool with you, I'm cool with love. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Facts. Either one of y'all can talk to me. Don't put me in that position. To have to, yeah. To have to lie. Facts. Because I'm going to do it for either one of y'all. But what's going to happen when I lie for her <coughs> the same way I lie for you? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, please understand. Like, if I could, if I see her outside and she being outside yeah. <laughs> and I don't say shit, you know, I might talk to her like, man, what you doing out here? Right. Come on, man. Like, you put me in this bullshit. Go to another club, something. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I, I don't believe y'all should that that's selfish as shit and that's called blind loyalty towards a narcissistic person. I like you shouldn't that. expect me to do that. Okay. I, I respect it. I mean, I can hit this on various notes. Mm-hmm. One, so I'm gonna set off and let you know. I don't ask my friends a lot for me. Mm-hmm. I don't ever got to because I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I don't need nobody else in my stuff. I have lied for my friends before, but if my cousin <coughs> wants to, don't ask her to lie for you because she ain't good. I ain't got to hide nothing. I'm grown, so Fair. I'm not trying to hide nothing for you. You're grown. And then on another thing, like my friends is bold. They know who they know who I am. Right, so they right, tell right. me because like, I've heard them come back to me and be like, "Oh yeah," because I told them my friend she gonna ride for me. She gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why you tell me like this? So you know what I'm saying? And then I've had them go and they'll tell on themselves. Like, why am I lie for you for you to tell yourself? Right. And they looking at me, I'm the bad friend. I don't want you around her. She, right. she out here lying. Right. No, so I just was like, get into that. I don't know. Fast. All right. Hello? Okay. So, <coughs> actually. Oh, hell. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you had to prepare yourself oh, to say yeah, this shit. Oh, yeah, no. Because my friends don't do that at all. Like. Don't mind. In the past, I have tried to get them to lie for me for something, but nah, they don't. They don't. They don't do none of that. No. They deny my ass real quick. <laughs> they don't want no parts, and and I'm the same way. If they want me to lie, they don't put me in nothing. Like my friends are like they're in their own relationships, and I'm in my own relationship. We don't like if my sister's going through something, she'll come and talk to me. About what's going on. Yeah. Right, right. But she ain't gonna tell me, like, hey, can you lie? Nah, she ain't. She's like, girl, please tell this nigga I was at Brenda House the other day. I was with you. I was with you. What? Yes, bitch. I was with you. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> no. No, yeah. but for real, yeah, we don't. Mm-mm. Nah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's not even cute for us to do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's you're not. Right. Go ahead. You want to add on? No, nah, I'm just saying, bro. Like, Fat. I, I don't, don't want to live in secret, man, because you know that's who you are. That's you. But, I mean, I'm me, so 
it's life, bro. Mm-hmm. Consequences regardless, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. I just, I'm yeah. just not a look over my shoulder type of person. I'm not living like that. This is life. <laughs> right. I'm one of them. Wow. Yeah. All right, Nathan. All right, so <clears throat> I don't. I'm the same way. I don't. Don't tell. Don't tell me nothing. You don't want me to be saying. Cause I'm not gonna lie, but I do do half truths. So like, if you ask me, was he at the bar? Yeah. Now if you didn't ask me, Who if he was with. with. <laughs> 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 So I'm still te- keeping myself real and keeping it real. <coughs> yeah. You ask me what you get, what you ask. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, me, shit. Me I definitely have uh, more on like some high school shit though. Um, yeah, I mean I lie for my homies like it's got code looking out for the bros, but like now, like you say, like me on some grown shit now. I'm older, grown, like. Yeah. Don't even put me in that predicament, yeah. especially if if I'm cool with your girl. Like if I know, like we don't even got to be best friends, but if I'm cool with her, you introduce me to her. I know her. She's a cool person or whatever. And then like, don't expect me to lie because like I'm not about that. And um, don't even put me in that predicament. And I really believe in karma. So it's like whatever goes around going to come around anyways. Mm-hmm. But on some high school shit. Yeah, I lie for the homies like back in high school. That's real. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> nah, uh, you, you brought me back to some shit. <laughs> you no. dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I just remember. So what about you? You lie for the homies? Hell no. Nah. Uh-huh. Don't put me there. Like, don't put me there. Like that. That's just not. That's not fair to me. Right. Like, yeah. I, I'm a big thinker of me. Like, like, where does this put me? Is this going to cause me to lack integrity? Fact. Is this going to cause me to, you know, go against my moral compass? Fuck no. I'm, I'm not with that shit because I'm not going to flex. You lie to me about my old girl doing some shit. Nigga, and you my nigga, we blanking. We're blanking. Yeah. Look, it's up for you. We fight. Yeah. It's up for you. Like, we not cool no more. Right, right. Now, I'm going to ask one more thing because I'm kind of going through this currently. So, I just kind of, I'm not going to speak too much on it because I'm kind of going through it now. But I just want to get y'all uh, advice on it okay. and, like, y'all perspective. If, all right, you got a best friend or whatever, a homeboy, homegirl, um, and they break up. Um, and they pretty much tell you they don't want you to be friends with the person they broke up with. Are y'all going to, or they don't want y'all to have, like, no contact with them or whatever. Do y'all stay close to, I mean, not not even close, but do y'all stay, like, kind of cool? Or do y'all completely cut them off, like, the person that they was with? Or not? Nah. Like, for instance, if me and Lo, God forbid, were to break up or whatever, are you going to, like, completely cut her off because of me? Because I'd be like, I don't want you to talk to her at all. Are you gonna completely just cut her off? You can't tell me who the fuck to be friends. So that that's my that's my question. <clears throat> the only thing I'm gonna do now is separate y'all's business. I know who to talk about around who. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like <coughs> if what I'm not gonna do is hear you talk about low and hear low talk about facts. You. Facts. So as soon as yeah, James put me through. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't want mm-mm. talk about it. Right, right. right. That's <laughs> real. Talk about it. Yeah. Um, no, you can't. You can't tell me who the fuck to be friends with. I don't. Again, don't put me in that situation. That's not fair to me. It's not fair to me to make me choose. That's not fair. And again, that's a part of blind loyalty that I believe is some narcissistic ass shit. All right. I like that. Mm-hmm. Textbook. Um. Yeah, I think I can't do that. I can't do the pink size stuff like. I, I just can't see myself doing it. Like I said, again, we grown, you know, keep y'all problems to yourself. I always look at people not off of what they did, but I got to look at you as an overall person. Mm-hmm. Now, if you overall just a bad person, nah, I ain't got nothing for you. I'm just saying, go my business. But, I mean, people make mistakes, slip ups, you know. I'm just a corporate person. <coughs> I don't like just creating unnecessary beef. So, nah, I'd be cool either way. Just, you, you a blame. killer. You a blame. 
You're a killer. What do you mean? What's your sign? Huh? Which oh, I'm a Virgo. Virgo? You'll okay. kill somebody. She's like, I, right. believe that. Okay. I, I think so. Talk. I feel like she's like really calm until you like piss right. her off. I used and to then be like, like, bad or like angry. Like, if oh, oh, oh. I do anything, now I got a record on me, I can tell you stories all day. I got but you. I went to therapy and stuff, and I oh, didn't calm myself down. You know what I'm saying? Therapy so helps. Everything that you do out here in the <coughs> is all within yourself. Mm. It's all within yourself. Like y'all talking about affirmations stuff, I get down with that. Therapy right. taught me that self affirmations Real. it helped me. Like Trash. you'll believe it about yourself. You'll never understand sometimes like why I think like this or that. Mm-hmm. Like you think it's normal because that's what you brought up into or what you were taught mm-hmm. or what you took away from some. But self affirmations you can bring yourself back up. Trash. I like to keep shit, you know. Right. Everybody mm-hmm. stay calm, cause I'm telling you, if I get up, they get up. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's so me. Stay calm, everybody so, good. That's a fact. All right, Nathan. All right. Uh, me personally, I forgot the question. If <laughs> you good? Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> nah, you good? Uh, pretty much, if your homeboy like he broke up with his girl or whatever, and he pretty much because they broke up, he don't want you to have no ties with her, be friends with her, cool with her, or anything like. Are you going to completely cut her off too because that's what he want you to do? Or are you kind of going to talk to her or whatever? Me and my boy and his wife had this conversation. <clears throat> she brought it up anyways. And she was like, uh, Nate, would you cut me off as a, uh, you know, if me and Dave were to split? I said, nah, you know, like we're still friends, but now there's a boundary that I can't cross, you know, like I can't just come over to your house. Like if you need something, I got to, you know, go through. This. Cut that out. Make sure, <laughs> yeah. Make sure my boy good, and um, and stuff like that. So um, for me, now I I still like you said you can't tell me who I can be friends. <coughs> with. You know I'm gonna still be friends, but like again I respect my boy because I've known him longer and been down with him longer, and I respect for him in either marriage or split whatever. I want to make sure that's a clean break between me and them. So. Yeah. See, I ain't gonna go too much in detail, but my thing is like. You introduced me to this person. Now, how do you not want me to talk to this person? Because y'all broke up. My only thing is, depending on... Like, if she done some real fucked up shit to you, like, if she was just, like, mentally crazy, like, she was slashing your tires, or she was beating on you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just... Yeah, you feel me? Like, just done some dumb shit to you, then, like, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to cut you off. Right. You know you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. going to cut you off because of that. But if I had like a mutual breakup, y'all broke up or whatever, yeah. then you can't expect me not to not talk to her. I mean, if I I mean, I'm going to have like you say boundaries like yeah. I'm going to like um I'm going to still be cool with her, cordial talk or whatever. If I see her as hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be like on the OD type thing. Right, right, like you right. feel me? But yeah, like if she done something really crazy, then yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with her. If she cheated on you, I'm not gonna really, maybe not, you know, saying like fuck with her or whatever. Right, but right. you can't expect me not to be cool with her just yeah. because y'all broke up. She didn't do anything to me. Exactly. You feel me? I mean, relationships don't work. She didn't do nothing to me. Just because y'all didn't make it, don't mean I can't be friends with her. Like, bro, you introduced me to her. So okay, so so <clears throat> how do you feel about family members? What you mean? So, <clears throat> scenario, hypothetically speaking, I meet me and whomever broke up, right? And <coughs> all of a sudden, you go on Facebook, and all of they family just blocked your ass. Mm-hmm. How you feel about that? Fuck. Yeah. Um, you ain't it's not- nothing to them. I yeah. Ain't do nothing to you. Yeah, that's their fault. Then that's their problem. They yeah. Cut you off, it's. It is. I mean, it's like I get it and I don't, cause it's kind of like. I get it and I don't, man, cause uh, it's kind of like they say when I cut you off and shit, we cut you off too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like for example, like shit, me and my like one of my exes, like I'm still cool with her mom. You feel me? And like I talk to her mom, she still like my posts and all that, and I don't have a problem. She ain't cut me off. And I'm not going to cut you off. Um, but in a way, it's messed up. I mean, if you didn't do anything to them and if they don't know the story, I mean, 
I don't think it's right that they block you. Unless you were, you know what I'm saying? Unless you cheated, you fucked up, or some shit like or that. Or disrespected the or thing. Disre- yeah, right. Not, yeah, like really disrespected it. Because it'd be like, okay, Keyshawn, like, I, you know, I love you when y'all was together, but you didn't have to cheat on so-and-so. Yeah. You didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? If you disrespect, that's a whole different thing. Cheating yeah. is a little bit different, too. Yeah. Like, cheating, you can get with that or not get with it. It's, th- it's wrong at the end of the day. But, yeah, I don't think they should cut you off, man, like, unless they know the full story. Okay. I might be the weirdo, so like <coughs> I'm just telling you, like my exes, man, their families can cook. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to the cookouts if they invite me and stuff like okay. that. Now, if they don't move, don't have because like my exes, they don't got no problem with it. I still talk to their mom and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I've been around for a minute, type stuff. So if they invite me to something and God knows if I want to go because I might want to play I'm going to go right. but if you he done moved on I know he got a shorty he bringing a shorty there or something like that oh nah I'm not going you know what I'm saying because right. I don't want you to feel like I'm interfering mm-hmm. with you moving on right. I ain't messed up in the head it's just that I don't cut people I don't feel like I should be put at that point I've never had that done to me Right. and I wouldn't do that to them because that's separate to me you separate some things from your relationship you know what I'm saying yeah. you don't just unknow somebody you can, but not just in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, don't. Yeah, that's a fact. You, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's a fact. I like that. I got a quick topic. It, the floor is open for everybody. All right. So, like, what if your significant other said, "I don't want you hanging with your friend no more." That's the opposite sex. What y'all doing then? Say that again. Like, what if your uh, significant <laughs> other asked you not to hang with your best friend no more? That's the opposite sex. What you gonna do then? Let me tell you so something, you got a female <laughs> best friend. Let me tell you something, shorty. Yeah. First of all, me and this girl ain't... Did, if you, did you do anything with this? No, nah, yeah, platonic. Like me, it's and strictly me, platonic. me and my other friend, you know who I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. What the fuck you mean? I'm not cutting her off. For right. what? Now, let me pump my brakes. Hold on. Let me pump my brakes. Because sometimes I ain't going to flex. Niggas don't swim. Yo, no. No, it ain't that. That Your too. girl knows something, <coughs> and you best trust her intuition. I feel you saying that. Yeah. Trust her intuition. Now yeah. your girl might see something. Yeah. That our dumbasses <laughs> so don't that part. see. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes we don't see it. That's meaning right. what though? Yeah, like she like you. Yeah, she yeah. likes you. She wants you more than her. Yeah. The she way they started look acting at you. different. Like you don't know right, when right. when your yeah. best girlfriend is over here rolling her eyes at your new girl. Mm-hmm. Right, that's true. Like, you don't see it. That's true. I'll be here after you, bitch. Like that mm-hmm. is real though. You, mm-hmm. they, that is real. they be they do that. They do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely something I think you should really <laughs> look at. If your significant other brings it up, open your eyes to it. Right. right. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Right, right, Keep, right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just brush you off and be like, nah, man, this was... This just say, yeah, I would ask her, like, why? They wouldn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Right, that's right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> that's, that's no thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I've been saying some old ass names. <laughs> but, like, Damn. I'm just saying, me, me and Karen being straight. So, yeah, you ain't, you ain't never seen a baby Karen. Oh my god, <laughs> have you? No. Exactly, they just pop up 30, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <weird>. oh god, <laughs> so, like, my view, like, I have a bestie, my best friend, been my best friend for years. Now, we've had run ins, like, but we. We so got each other, like, I can't That's be in a one. relationship with nobody that don't accept my CBD? best friend. We done been right. friends for years. If you can't accept my best friend, that makes me childish. I ain't gonna lie. But we can't be cool, bro. I'm not ending my job with my bestie. And I know we ain't never done nothing. Yeah. Or, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even he get girlfriends sometimes. They be insecure first. Yeah. I try to make them feel so welcome, like, coming to my house. And see, and, that, and that's, that's what make them do it though. Yeah, that's what that's what make them trip out. I be trying to make them be feel comfortable because I'm gonna talk about what I talk about with him. Right, right. With you too, because I mean, I guess you the plus one, but I mean, <laughs> you about to hear this because I'm gonna tell my bestie what I gotta say. Yeah. If you don't like it, I mean, and I mean, I've had it where my bestie's girlfriend <coughs> should go stand outside, or won't come in, or something like that. 
Oh yeah, we standing from the inside looking at you on the outside. <laughs> like, not to be rude or nothing, but we besties. If we right. ain't got nothing to hide, why are we gonna act like we got something to hide? <coughs> so, yeah. Y'all get the worst hate though. We do. Y'all get the worst Man, motherfucking hate. We do. I, s- I swear y'all fuck. I swear y'all did something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Y'all just too motherfucking cool. Y'all y'all just way too you sure y'all ain't enough up. <laughs> like and I understand that. I, I've had, I've actually had a best friend and I told her, she, but she had to cut me off. She was getting married. <coughs> I respect that. Oh, I respect yeah. that. You get married, you know, do don't fuck with me like that. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because of our relationship, I just know a little bit too much. Gotcha. I'll back up I'll, because I'm your friend. I'll back up. All right. Oh. For your happiness. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because girl, but you know, when he leave, call me. <laughs> Come, uh, bestie is back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Alright. Uh-huh. Then you fucked me up with that question. That was a good ass question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, you got any topics? <coughs> Anything you want to get off your chest? Any My scenarios? Topic. Okay, so just one question. Y'all tell me if y'all got some techniques or methods. Y'all come with something. So when you want somebody to leave you alone for real and they won't leave you alone, what you do? Block. Order. No, uh, I'm sorry. I don't pass the block. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> what you saying? Okay, restraining I'm order. I'm about to hear a restraining order. That right? part. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to break me and stuff? Oh, no. What? That's what I did. Yes. You got a gun? <laughs> Situation. You got a gun? They want yeah. to deal with them. And I just be so booed. Like, if you know me, like y'all saying, I'm booed. The question is, do you have a gun? Man, I can get one. It's nothing. <laughs> 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 nah, because, like, I thought about different things. Like, I'm like, nah, I ain't letting you in. Well, I'm coming in there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, oh. I got three techniques. Like, you gotta call the police. Call the police. Yeah. As soon as that happened, like, yeah. nah, you got to. Cause look, I I had a personal problem with crazy, mm-hmm. where that happened before. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker, crazy. Nah, you you like I've been in a situation where same thing, knocking on the door, banging, my dumb ass let him in, and then that just turned into a whole, you know what I'm saying, big yeah. thing. But if I knew what I knew now, if I could rewind, I would have called the police right then and there. But when you're in that time, like everybody can say what they'll do, what you're supposed to do. But when you're in that time, like while it's happening, and I was young too, I didn't really know what to do first time in that situation. But to make them leave you alone, definitely, if that's happening, he pulling up, you just need to call the police. Hopefully they'll get there ASAP. Um, definitely a restraining order. I'm getting old. Definitely a restraining order. The older I'm getting, the more I'm fucking with the cops, y'all. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, I just don't have time because, like, even with fighting today, I own guns. I don't have time to fight you. Post a fake boyfriend or something, Bro, or he ain't gonna care about that. That's gonna make it worse. Yeah. That's gonna make it worse. God, don't do that. Niggas don't care, man. That's yeah. it. it don't the, 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 you cannot even want to touch them. They don't care. <laughs> you want to be right next to you. Like, right there's two things. There's two ways yeah. to handle this. It's called bubble gum. It's a little, it's a little pump in the trunk, meaning a twelve gauge shotgun, or the cops. Yeah. It, yeah. Pick one, because nigga, it's either you gonna die, or you gonna leave me alone. Yeah. Or, I mean, technically, he's trespassing if he's yeah, not. That part. Pull him in the house. Shoot his ass. I love your mama. I love your aunties. Like I don't want to do you. Have you called? Have you called mama and auntie? Yeah. Man, about to call mama next time. We about to pray. We about to go yeah, fuck with Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I told cousins and stuff like yo, like for real. That could be. Really that could be an okay to thing. My business, and nah. they really like. I don't think they be taking me serious at first, but now over time, when I keep telling them, they're like, "Oh yeah, he crazy." I'm like, "What? Well, like, they call the police." So like you're done, done. You don't want no. You don't want no. I'm gonna be hot. Like even no point of contact. I'm good at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. restraining order ain't that bad. Like I've had, I have even said it. Like, are you sure you want me to leave you alone? Yes. Like I'm talking about for sure. <coughs> no, no delay. See. Nothing. I'm telling you, that restraining order work, bro. When I, 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 I at the muscle to us. Understand if you put a restraining order on them, that don't get them in trouble. Yeah. But that does get them in trouble if they don't listen to the restraining order. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like, you're not putting no case on them. Yeah. You're not charging them with anything. It's just simply saying, 
By he can't law, be from around. If you there. see me in the Dollar General and I, I was here first. Yeah. Go on about your shit and go to the next one to five miles. Yeah. yeah. And uh, to add on to that, it works though, man. Make sure you document like text messages that he might send you. Every that time, time he comes. Picture every time he comes. Everything. Man, I took on video, but I was in such a panic because he was trying to break in my house. And I got like old neighbors and stuff. I live in a nice neighborhood. He's trying to break in my house. You can't be beating on the door at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Before I call the police, they going to call the police. Yeah. Like, and you say you got video? Yeah. Or but y'all about to say happen, or I try to get to somebody and not say this. So that it person was got that. it was in the heat of the moment, man. He was trying to break nah, my get sliding it. door and yeah. I had to jump down. So I'm He'll like, do it again. Yo. You don't got no you don't have no kind of ring like, cameras or nothing. Hmm? You don't got like no ring camera. Ring camera uh, or he gonna call me before you show up. Cause like people, people, it's still, it's people just, like that don't understand the hint. Shot people like proof. that can be very dangerous. <clears throat> it will escalate. It will. Yes. Especially okay. if you if you do continue to like just say this Fuck is all it. hypothetical. Like say you do keep opening the door eventually, they're gonna keep coming. And they're yeah. gonna keep escalating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, Got it. And I did, you know, before I would just open the door, but I'll tell you I took the one time I'm like, nah, like I'm telling from the house, <coughs> the door, like, yo, I'm not letting you in. Niggas ran around the back. Come back to the front. They'll I think it's knock a game. on my room door. Like, oh, yeah. like on my room window. Like, I think it's a game. Can I make this a funny thing? <laughs> because we, because we, that, that's some serious shit. Yeah. Not very <laughs> serious. <laughs> you can't always give niggas good pussy. Bro. Like. <laughs> but this is the thing. You can't like always you do that. Me. Like, you don't even want me, bro. You got Just want to control you. Yeah, you just want to control, control. And that's whack. That's what, yeah. that's like, how, that's I hate wack. to say it, but that's how us guys are. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we on one hour we yeah. person with somebody have, else. I, this is my main thing. Third time I'm saying it. <laughs> That is not fair to me. That is very narcissistic and having blind loyalty mm -hmm. that you expect me to have and I'm not with it. Thank you. Yeah. And I feel it. So you're about to call the police 110. next time you come? Hmm? You're going to call the police next time you come? Basically. That's okay. how it's going to go. Yeah. Because I'm tired of being nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many ways can you tell somebody? Like, nah, just call me. How much trouble can you get in you if really your neighbors call the police? That's what I'm saying. Nothing for me. Cause that's junk. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a lot. You, that will, get you, get, you will get in trouble. Yeah, and that's what I'm so, saying. Like, yeah, you'll get in a lot of trouble for that. That's why I'm like, yo, before you over here making all this noise stuff, bro, just come in. Like, what do you want? Like, yeah, what you nah. crying about tonight? Why are you here? Nah, see, so you let him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you beating on doors, beating on windows, like, yeah. you sound like you're about to tear my door off the hinges. I'm pretty sure everybody else out here is. Like, yeah. yeah. People they like that do. have that on. That, that's what my mindset was at, yo. Like, when I had somebody trying to get in, I'm talking about she banging and all that. And I'm like, yo, the neighbor's going to hear this shit. Yeah. I'm like, my mindset was like, I need to let her, you know, I just need to open the fucking door. That's where my mindset was at. Open it, that bitch kicked that bitch in like Rambo or something. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I swear to God, man. All right, I'm talking about, I just barely opened that bitch. They're going to end up calling the police if they keep happening. Yeah. Something's going to happen to you. Damn. Because people yeah. that mentality, they have that if I can't have you, nobody can't. You feel what I'm that saying? Part. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just go watch it's it. an obsession. It's a mental, it it's a sickness. It definitely is, but kind of referring to? Yeah, the jail. No, like, literally just called 911. Crossroads up the street. Don't you know. I just don't get it. Never seen nothing like, you know, yeah. don't feel like I'm going to threaten them, like, going to kill me and then, but bro, just chill. Like, yeah. just go live your life because I'm just trying to live my life. Trying to move on. That's it. That's yeah. all. I'm just trying to make one more proud. You feel what I'm saying? That's <laughs> it. That's it. Like, yeah. Shit. All right, we're going to switch this up real quick. Right. All right. Y'all hear about Randy Cox or um, Jalen Walker? I don't know any of them. Walk me back through. Okay. Jalen Walker, dude that got shot, I think. Is that right? the guy that got shot a he whole bunch shot of times? 60 times by the police. But it was because 60? they thought he had a gun or something like that? No. He, he did have a gun. Yeah, he did. But the gun was in his car. Yeah, but he was out. Wait, yeah, he was outside the car, right? He was already complying. <laughs> yeah, see, that's I thought sad. he hit the police or, or he. No, 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 no. Shot something at him. I thought he did shoot at him. That's sad, but it took 60 bullets for him, man. When is... <coughs> I 
The it's thing is, stop. we're seeing this so often. Police brutality. We're seeing um, equity and equality getting undermined by people with power. So much to where we don't even bat an eye at it anymore. It was say their name. It's not say their name anymore. Oh. Motherfucking Randy Cox and Jalen Walker is just another statistic. It's another mm -hmm. Trayvon. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do we get here? Because I believe it's propaganda. The same way the Nazis did it. It's propaganda and I feel like more is to come. How can we keep our eyes open and really be about the justice for all? How can we do that? I really don't know. I don't see it. I just don't. I don't see it in there. I say because we protest and then we stop. I say it like this, and people say I get too deep when it comes to shit up. conversations or anything. But Let's say people gotta realize if we talk religion wise, we are living in the final days. A lot of this stuff is going to keep reoccurring. Mm -hmm. And really, we see it in just simple ways right now. We don't know what's to come. We're going to see it. Blank. It's going to be more blank. You know what right. I'm saying? Because yeah. this world is making it okay. I think too many says, too many people are trying to be vocal right now. You know what I'm saying? Too many groups. It's too many people staring minds yeah. and stuff. And I'm not saying like... I'm black, you know what I'm saying? I stand about black people, but we got to be real about the stuff that's going on in this world. Let's go. We got to be real. <coughs> so I, I kind of don't, with these conversations and stuff, I don't be knowing what to say because I'm like, yo, it's there. This stuff is getting too real. And that's why I tell people nowadays and how they move and what they do, it's not worth the risk these days because this stuff is happening too constant. It's becoming too norm. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I. It's just like just the shooting. Yeah, just, just like the school shooting, the church shooting. But it's this like, is what they want. Yeah. This is what. This is what they. When's the last time you heard about the church shooting or the even the, the Texas school shooting? Hmm. It just keeps getting raked under, under the road yeah. until it happens yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, it's happening. What do you know? Any any solution <coughs> that we can Duh. do to keep us? Um, Honestly. I hate to say it. The only way I know it may not be the solution, but to slow it down for it happening, which work seems to work, is tearing the fucking city down. Honestly, yeah, I hate to say it. Every time we're tearing the city down, I know we're, we're only hurting our shit yeah. down. I we're know not tearing the real things like city hall. Congress. We're not doing the real things. Oh yeah, like I get what you're saying. Yeah, we're not going to judge's house and protesting. We need to go house. there. I get what you're saying. That's that's a fact. But I mean, if we take it to George Floyd, I mean, that cost the city millions of dollars. Though they did tear some shit down in the city. Uh, most of it was like small businesses and stuff like that. The things which that I agree. we need to thrive. Yeah. So that's a fact. I, I mean, I agree. Like, we should be chaining down a fucking courthouse. Who gives and, a fuck about a Wendy's? Because the government's... Yeah, yes. Insurance yeah. built that shit right back. Yeah. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's it, a fact. That's nothing. Insurance people, you're, you're killing people. <coughs> that's a fact. Mean nothing. To be honest, hitting on the rioting thing, that's why I kind of like... Like, I didn't agree with the whole Republicans going against, you know, when they went to the, was it the Congress area? They marched in there and they were taking over. It's like at a Trump rally, something like that. And they did that over there because they knew that's where it needs to be at. And as black folks, we need to stop doing, you know, this rioting in our own streets and our cities because, <coughs> and sorry, because um, we build so much with our culture. We give so much to the culture. Why we want to build something and destroy it? No one, they're not paying for it. We are. You know what I'm saying? They're not paying. They don't care if we destroy our city. They don't give a fuck. They're using our tax money to go get these damn jet planes, to go overseas to pay for weaponry. You know what I'm saying? Eight point something billion went over to, um, that place is getting bombed by Russia right now. Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah. And we out here stood alone in debt. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you're going through our own trials. And I'm not trying to take away from shit. Ukraine, because I, I do think that's <clears> important people, but at the same time, What's happening here? You know what I'm saying? We are destroying each other from the inside out. Other countries are laughing at us. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, with all that's been going on, we've had COVID that's kept us in the house for, what, two years? Basically. Still going on. Yep. Nobody 
is is really there is no norm again. There is no make America great again, and I'm not even talking about pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In this time of self isolation, have y'all y'all ever thought about self transitioning? What do you mean? Killing yourself. Oh, uh, dying. Unaliving. I ain't thought about that, but ah, so that's a deep. I thought about what if I ain't make it. It's inspired me more to get closer to God. I know y'all like, well, you being real religious? No, I'm being serious. Nah, you right. Because this stuff, like that, people are overlooking. Like I said, it's right here, man. It's telling you. People look up the book of Revelation and stuff like that. Who wants to read that stuff? Or y'all see, if somebody put it on TikTok, y'all quit to hear it. Oh, that real? Yeah, no, you got to go study that stuff for yourself. Because, I mean, it's only to come. I've seen too many people lose. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? My age, younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who said more me? You know what I'm saying? I, you got to just, I encourage it. That's all I tell people. Yeah. You got to get close to God because, I mean. That's a fact. Coming. No, I agree. I mean, shit, like you say, I don't lost, I lost close people. You know what I'm saying? Like people you wasn't expecting. You know, it wasn't their time. Young, fifty year olds, uh, forty year old, and people my age um, due to COVID, and it's due to like dumb shit in the streets. But I don't lost a lot of people, man. Like I, what I really realized, like life is really short, and that's what I've been realizing like this whole time. So, well, for me. I did try to kill myself, <clears throat> only because um, I had went through a terrible first love, you know, and I'm gonna expose myself. I was 18 at the time, a virgin, and that was the first person I had been with that I really cared about. So I say I waited for her, and um, she had her own mental issues that I didn't know about, and a lot of things in her family was dysfunctional, and it rooted into my life. I started developing OCD, anxiety, and depression. Um, and it just spiraled me out of control. Uh, I can't tell y'all what happened with, between that time period, but off camera I will. But um, yeah, it, um, it really changed you as a person because once you survive it, you want to know like, what, what is life? What, is, what, what can I do to make myself happy? Right. What makes me happy in this life? And that's when I found acting, dancing, you know, and I'm just like, I want to do things that I want to do. And it's, like you said, getting closer to God helped me because there were times where there was no way I was going to make it. There was just no option like I was going to take myself out or be in the sight wars, one of the two. And uh, I remember I just prayed and this overwhelming warmth came over my body. I just felt so calm. I didn't even worry about nothing. Right. And then I started praying Pandora and these songs started coming up from the gospel that I don't listen to gospel. So I was just like, what is going on, you know? And after that, you know, it made me question, like, how, how strong is my faith with God? And I started getting closer, you know? And everybody has their own niche to get through things. Like you said, it could be God, it could be, you know, maybe doing something else. But you need to find something that makes you truly whole in this world, in this right. life. That's so fair. Damn, Nate, I wasn't expecting you to get hit that. <laughs> now I gotta be all fucking, because you know I'm gonna do it with you. We've talked about this in person. Yeah. Um, my first and only time trying to kill myself was October 31st of last year. I, uh,. I found out that they say you got to lose yourself to love somebody better. It's real. But nobody tells you the extent of how much you're supposed to lose of yourself. Mm. And I lost all of me. I'm not the same person. When you look in the mirror and you and you, you look at yourself and you, you, you say, who the fuck are you? Because you don't recognize you anymore. Right. right. Sometimes you just want to go to sleep. Mm. Yep. And when you wake up is when you wake up. Mm. Fuck school. Yeah. Fuck work. 
they say, you know, well, you got kids, fuck them kids. They don't know what's fucking going through. I think finding, again, again, finding God is how I've had to find myself lately. Allowing, allowing a higher power to claim me and understand that I'm not living. Yeah, you're right. You're losing yourself. You're losing yourself because you're not living for you. You're right. You understand? So I think people got the wrong definition. And yeah. there, was, there was a time that I was very... Um, my my thoughts of it was very perverted i didn't understand it. It, it it i was confused yeah so yeah um uh mm -hmm. one of my guy uh friends told me that um a therapist he went to or he knew of <coughs> has said some really strong words it was don't be afraid to go insane and lose yourself just make sure you come back because everybody has to lose themselves once in a while. You have to go insane to realize what you need to come back, you know? And like you said, that's, that's what it is, looking in the mirror and like, this is what I want. I want to do something productive. I want to change. I want to, I want to find out who I really am. Well, that's a good end point, man. Yeah, no, no, you close this up. <laughs> go outside, smoke a cigarette, cry a little bit, and I'll be back. <laughs> you got to cry. <laughs> Well, look, y'all, this is, what's it, session four? Session four. Session four, all day 11.02 Entertainment. Thank y'all for coming on. Thank you. Two new guests. Y'all always welcome back. We call this the Pie Family. We always, hey, we talk about deep stuff, mental health, all that. So don't, if y'all ever want to talk to somebody, need somebody to talk to, we always here. Lines is always open. Appreciate if y'all need to talk about it and let it out on this platform, it's always here. We so. do wellness checks. <laughs> We do. Seriously, we do wellness checks. I appreciate the love. Guys. So, yeah. Thank you. It's always open, man. But, nah, I appreciate y'all for coming and uh, thank y'all for being here. Thank you. Uh, make sure y'all click subscribe and, and make sure y'all like this, share this. If you'd like to get on this podcast, please, all day notes are it's ad1102 entertainment at gmail.com. Please email us. Y'all take care. Thanks. Thanks.